Hi guys, this is Sadek from Robin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to install the latest Lineage OS 20 ROM based on Android 13 onto your Redmi Note 10 Pro Max phone. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and let's get started. First off, you have to download the Android SDK platform tool from my guide and extract them onto your PC. These are the files of the platform tools as you could see. This is required to execute ADB commands. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. After that, you will have to now enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. USB debugging is required to execute ADB commands, whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the bootloader on your phone. So let's now carry out both this task. For that, you have to go to settings menu. From there, you have to go to about phone, then go to detailed info and specs and tap on MIUI version seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So go back, again go back, now go to additional settings. Then from here you should now see developer option, go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. Now you will have to wait for 10 seconds. In the meantime, check mark, I am aware of all the risk. And then as soon as the 10 second time frame has elapsed, just tap on OK. So with this we have enabled USB debugging and OEM unlocking. Let's now verify the debugging connection. So go to platform tools folder address bar, type in cmd and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools folder as you could see. Now type in adb devices and hit enter and make sure that you are getting a serial id. If you are not getting any id, then unplug and replug your phone from the pc. Disable and re-enable usb debugging. Tap on revoke usb debugging. Use the official cable that came with your phone and use the usb 2.0 port on your pc. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. Once you are getting this ID, let's now move ahead. So next up, you will now have to unlock the bootloader on your phone. Do note that doing so will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. So if that well and good, you could refer to my guide or the video and get this job done using the official me unlock tool. So this is the video and I have made a guide as well. So moving on, your next course of action is to update the firmware. So this is extremely important. As of now, you should be on the latest available firmware. So at the time of recording on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, it depends on the region. So I listed for all the regions. So let me show you on my guide. I made a separate guide on the flat on the how you could update the firmware as well as the latest firmware version over here as well. So in my case, as you could see, these are the latest firmware available for all the regions at the time of recording this video. So as you could see from here, in my case, my phone is of India region and it should have the latest firmware 14.0.1.0 TA, TK, FIN, XM. And as you could see by the about phone section, it's the latest 14.0.1.0 TK, FIN, XM. However, if in your case, you don't have the latest firmware, then that's not an issue. You could simply flash it using this guide to flash the latest firmware Make sure that the bootloader has been unlocked. Then download the latest firmware from this guide or the official me source and then extract the firmware anywhere onto your PC. So let me show you if you download the India version firmware, it should look something like this. Just a minute. So this is the firmware. Go to the firmware update folder and inside this folder, copy all the firmware files and you have to paste all these files inside the platform tools folder on your PC. Once you have pasted all this file, you just have to use these commands. I've given a list of all the commands. So use all this command and flash each of the partition file to their respective partition. If in case any file or partition is missing, so simply skip that command. For example, just an example I'm seeing, for instance, let's say hyp.mbn file is not there for your phone then simply skip this command. So in this case, you could simply flash all the individual files. As far as flashing the file via recovery goes, I haven't tried that because Lineage OS only recommends flashing the firmware via individual commands. So in case of Lineage, at least flash the firmware file using the individual commands. I have listed all the commands over here. The commands shall remain the same. Only the firmware should change. Moreover, to understand the firmware but here is how you could do so for instance let's suppose this is the firmware so this is the version 
then after that the first alphabet is the android version t is android 13 then kf is the phone with phone or model code number whereas in our case it's redmi note 10 pro then in is the region so this will vary depending on the region of which wise so in my case i'm using india firmware so in is for india then cn is for china and mi is for global and eu is for europe so make sure to download the firmware and then flash it accordingly this is the latest at the time of recording if you are viewing this video a uh, couple of weeks or months later then this might not be the latest so please verify from the official me source or a third party site and then flash the firmware accordingly so once you are on the latest firmware let's now move ahead so our next course of action is to download the rom for your phone so you may get it from this official linux site so as of now we only need the rom file which is this and the recovery file we don't need the rest of the file so download both the rom and recovery file and then place the file inside the platform tooth folder on your pc so as you could see this is the platform tooth folder and this is the rom file and this is the recovery file the recovery is in the img format and the rom is in the zip format moreover for the ease of convenience let's rename the rom file to simply rom so that the complete name becomes rom.zip and the recovery should be named as recovery only so that the complete name becomes recovery.img so moving on you will now have to boot your phone to fast boot mode so let's do that for that you have to open cmd inside platform tools and now type in adb reboot bootloader and hit enter this will boot your phone to fast boot mode and it will take around 4 to 5 seconds so let's just wait for the time frame and as you could see we are now in the fast boot mode let's now verify the fast boot connection so type in fast boot devices and hit enter make sure that you are getting a serial id if you are not getting any id then you will have to install fast boot drivers i have made a separate guide and a video on the same please re refer to my guide and make sure to install the drivers once you have installed the drivers use the windows x shortcut keys and choose device manager then you have to expand the android phone section and make sure that your phone is being shown as android bootloader interface so this as well as the serial id signifies that your pc is able to read the phone in fast boot mode and we could now move ahead so our next course of action is to flash the linux os recovery since our phone has a recovery partition we could directly flash the recovery to the recovery partition for that you could simply copy this command just make sure of two things first off the name of the file should be recovery and it should be placed inside the platform tooth folder once you have check mark both this requirement you could simply paste this command over here so let me copy the command from here and let's paste the command here and hit enter and it will now flash the linux os recovery to the recovery partition the entire process will take around 10 to 15 seconds and with this we are done so now we have to boot our phone to the recovery mode to the linux os recovery so type in fast boot reboot recovery and hit enter and your phone should now boot into linux os recovery in a matter of few seconds so let's just wait for the time frame and as you could see we are now in the linux os recovery so your first course of action is to do a format data do note that doing so will wipe off all the data from your phone so with that in mind go to factory reset select format data factory reset and select format data it will take only a few seconds and once that is done you will get a data wipe complete message so moving on you could now install the rom onto your phone using the adb sideload method so go back to the home screen and now select apply update and choose apply from adb so with this your phone is now in the adb sideload mode let's verify the same so open cmd window in the platform tooth folder and type in adb devices and make sure that you are getting the sideload keyword once you are getting the sideload keyword let's now sideload the rom file make sure that the name of the file is rom.zip and it's there in the platform tooth folder so now you just have to type in adb sideload rom.zip and hit enter the side loading will now start and it could take anywhere around 6 to 8 minutes so let's just wait for the time frame 
the flashing of lineage os is somewhat faster as compared to other roms because th this rom does not come inbuilt with any g apps or google app packages so it could take around 5 minutes let's just wait for the time frame and then we'll be back so guys the flashing is now complete do note that in the cmd window the progress will get stuck at 47 percent it's just a ui bug and nothing to worry about you could keep a track of the flashing from your phone at the last you will get install complete with status zero so this signifies that the flashing is now complete and we could now move ahead with the next step so now if you want to flash if you don't want to flash the apps then you could tap on reboot system now on the other hand if you want to flash the G apps, then you will have to reboot your phone to the recovery mode. So just to repeat, if you don't want any Google apps, then just tap on reboot system now. On the other hand, if you want G apps, then you have to reboot to recovery. So in my case, I will show you how to flash G apps as well. So for that, you have to tap on advance and select reboot to recovery. And our phone will now reboot to the linear OS recovery. It will take only a few seconds. In the meantime, you could go to my guide and from my guide, you could download the G apps. I will link the guide in the description. So regarding the G apps packages, there are around five, six. As far as Lineage OS is concerned, it's recommended that you opt for the mind the gas packages. So download the from here. And likewise, you have to place the G app packages inside the platform to photo on your PC. So let me do that as well. So copy the GR packages and paste it inside the platform tools folder. So with this, we have got the GFs as well. And now as you could see, we are now in the recovery mode once again. So as before, select apply update and select apply from ADB. So with this, your phone is now in the ADB side load mode. Let's verify the connection. So type in ADB devices. And as you could see, it's showing as a side load keyword. So this signifies that the phone is now in the side load mode. Let's now sideload the GF packages. For that, let's rename the file to something shorter. So let's just rename it to GApps and the complete name becomes GApps.zip. So let's now sideload this. So as before, type in ADB sideload GApps.zip and hit enter. And the sideloading will now begin. It could take around up to a couple of minutes. So let's just wait for the time frame. And do note one important thing, as soon as it reaches 47%, I will show you what I am talking about. So let's wait for a few more seconds. So as you could see, as soon as the progress reaches 47%, we are getting a verification failed message. This is not an error message. It's just happening because Lineage OS has not signed this file. In fact, if you flash any file which is not a part of Lineage OS family, you will get this prompt. So just tap on yes. So for instance, if you are flashing magic file or any file which does not belong to the lineage OS ROM, you will get that prompt. So just tap on yes. And with this, as you could see, the flashing of GX is now complete and you could now proceed ahead and reboot your phone to the OS. So just tap on reboot system now and your phone will now boot to the OS. Do note that the first boot up might take up some additional time frame that's completely normal because the OS has been set up from scratch and if you have flashed GApps as well then the Google app packages and framework will also load for the first time and that will take some additional delay that's again completely normal so as you could see it's the boot animation of the lineage OS and the delay will be only for the first time from the subsequent time you will not be stuck at the screen so let's wait around for it could take around, I guess, 20 to 25 seconds at the very max. In some cases, it might even take up to a couple of minutes. That's not a cause of any concern. So let's just wait and then we will proceed ahead with the next step. I will simply skip the initial screen and show you the OS and the UI. So let's just wait for a few more seconds. And with this, we are now in the lineage OS. So let's start and I, I am simply skipping the initial setup so that I could take you to the OS. So let me complete the setup and skip all this stuff. Okay. 
so with this as you could see we are now in the lineage os 20 based on android 13 on to the redmi note 10 pro phones so as you could verify from here these are the features and the ui of the as you might be aware the lineage os is one of the purest and cleanest stock os experience with the aosp experience and these are all the features that you see in the pixel or original pixel aosp experience you could customize the font icon and notification toggle icons as well the icon shape as well you can enable themed icon which will adopt to the modern theme engine and these are the system section from here and you can install the latest upgrade from here currently i'm offline so i cannot download but you could simply download the upgrade from this section and as you could see currently i am on the redmi note 10 pro just to verify and it's running the latest android 13 version so guys on that note i round up this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching